Hi guys, I'm the Bush WW2 man, and today I've got another room tour for you, which is being requested by the British Sniper 22BK. So, let's get on with that. So, my room is a little bit of a mess at the moment, but I'm, it's always constantly being, sh everything's being shuffled around, tidied up, etc. So, to start off with, here I have my medieval wooden um, pole axe that I've just kind of made out of wood. It's broken, I need to fix it. Both of the arm piercing studs have broken off. I've also got my confederate battle flag on the pole behind it. I need to sort that out because it's got a bit kind of messed up. It's kind of going to be a mini update on some new things I've got as well. So, this section here. This is just my old computer cupboard. And on this I just got um just a couple of things really. Got a set of SS uh, runes that I need to put on a uniform, uh a box of Swedish clips for the six point five millimeter Carl Gustav rifle. M ninety five or M thirty eight uh, fit in. Anyway, so yep, I've also got a magazine, I believe this one. It's one of the ones that I got from uh, Stony Mirror Tower, and I think this could be for an FN model pistol. If it'll focus. That looks like there was possibly an FN logo, logo there. I've got my Rolls Razors here. Underneath this, I've got like an old ink bottle there. Um, I won't go over all my stuff quickly. Oh, uh, well. I will go over it quickly, just not in depth. So underneath I have my uh, 1930s probably clippers. And I have my FN9, model 1922 holster there for the Sicherheitsfach of Vienna. Dated 1945. I'm pretty sure that's a wartime one. Yeah, I got my Chinese reproduction M43 ski cap. The first one I had, which is pretty naff on my head at the moment which has got my M38 gas mask size 2 on it under that I've got my well, Iron Cross certificate I've got my original 16th motorised division but buttons for these would be on the Waffenloch I believe and that basically puts them through when the division was formed up until it was 1943 when it got completely destroyed in the Soviet counter-offensive in the Euro in the courses. Anyway, so that's that. And then it's turned into the 116 Panzer Grenadiers and the 16th Panzer Division. Anyway, so something like that. Got some keys, old keys here. K98K clips. One clip of the Carl Gustav ammo, 6.5mm. And another one there. So there are those. Some buttons there. These are my Confederate buttons. An old the last of plus ten picture of my great grandfather and my great grandmother whilst they're being married. Um, this is, um, anyway, so there's that. Got a goblet there. Moving off that, I got my dragon pack thirty eight, um, and it's all kind of in bits in there. It needs to be sorted out. It's got two crew members. Another big bag of Canon eight K clips. Here I've got my reproduction in German Reichs marks from the war and some pre-war. Down there I've got some things that are new. I'm not going to go over those now because that will kind of spoil some future videos. Here I have some of my uniforms. M40 tunic for late war. Well, early mid, early slash mid to late war. M. 43 mask grey shirt, Flieger Blue, properly correctly converted, dot 44 tunic, my conscripts battalion um, uniform, the penal battalion uniform, and an officer's white tropical uniform. So yeah, they're, they're just some of the things that I have hanging up. 
Now you might have noticed that I have some things on my bed. I just got them there because they would usually be in the walking space in the middle and make it basically impassable. And I didn't want to put them underneath the bed because if I do that then you wouldn't be able to see the stuff that's under there. So off that, just got a CD player there. Um, got some maps and old newspapers there. Some things from the something that I got when I was in Guernsey, the bunker kind of map tour thing. I've got my British uh, powers um, uniform impression there, kind of on my dummy. With the officers Pat Denson Smock with like a captain, BD um, officers Pat and shirt and tie, and I've also got my camp comforter on top, and that's an original 19. 18 dated binoculars case with binoculars in that was used in the First World War and it was given to the guy's son who used it in the Second World War so First World War then Second World War and then I got given it because the person who had it didn't want it Webley Mark IV revolver in holster here replica Denix I've got my map case here and Okay, um, that's got some maps in as well. That's basically those. Down here I have some caps. Got my N36 NCO's cap, my Crusher cap, or my N M36 Raffin SS officer's cap. Kind of like an interwar um, Weimar Republic or Imperial German cap, which is actually technically it was a post-war West German border guards one. Anyway. Here I have my original British cap with a Wiltshire Regiment cap badge because I was planning on doing, well I am doing a 5th Wilts officer impression because the 5th Wilts were, and that would be the very early war ones because the 5th Wilts were the ones who were in of the Wiltshire Regiment which is the regiment that I do, they were the ones who were in France in the early war 4th Wilts, were, which was the 43rd Wessex were in France late war only unfortunately and so yeah lovely inside there got a fit 475 pretty good I've got some other things here I've got it's probably Victorian possibly American officer's cap I need to do some desperate restoration on this because it's very old and falling to bits a bit of Something in that box there, bag there, some caps, my German canteen cup that was from Fury, a couple of tins that need to be converted, Ever Ready Razor, I think I have an another Ever Ready Razor which is in a, a cream box, uh, yep I do, there. And then I got my side caps here, post-war West German side cap, literally an M38. Here's the comparison between an M38 and that. They're the bloody same. Only real difference is the size. Obviously, that was smaller than that one. Anyway, so yeah, I got my other caps there. I got my Panzer cap side cap and all the others post-war to torch I think this is possibly Chinese one same as the US ones so and the, some of the British ones that the commandos used M39 air grenade all them got my small pack there got my civilian hat there M36 went off at Sears tunic there Got all my hats on top of there, or some more of my hats on top of there, and caps and stuff. Got Imperial Russian Oshanka. Technically, that would actually be for the Russian Liberation Army. Anyway, it's an original one. My uh, original British issue truncheon, still with its original lanyard, which is lovely. My probably Victorian telescope in its case. My original powder flask um, from probably American Civil War era. 
some other things back there. Give me a tick. I'll just get these out for you. So yeah, an original box of ammo for 7.19mm ammo. This is an unclipped one. Clipped ones would have a blue front. I can't find those. And we'll have a blue line down, I believe. I believe this is another unclipped one. But I, I've put some clips with blanks on in that one. Um, my American wallet that I got off of another reenactor. I won't show you the inside just because it might have its details in. I don't know if his details were fake or not, so rather not. Here is a box of 303 ammo original, 1943 dated I think. It says on the, on the bottom I believe. Something like that. Anyway, I think that's another razor box there. My original this could be Nazi party belt buckle, I'm not sure. Belt, I'm not sure. It could be for another Nazi paramilitary organisation. But it's definitely got the swastika and an M. So it could be meaning it's a naval one. No idea of that. My rubbishy post war um, disc tag might possibly bin that one. French, probably naval key, no idea. A couple of other things here. Tobacco box, all that stuff. All my used blanks. These are Denix ones, so you'll find out more about them in another video. Original Vermont here about buckle there. That is a uh, Oliver Lewis Turner, I believe. 60s reproduction one. I believe they're quite high quality because he, I think, used original stat like molds for them. And they smashed up the molds afterwards. But it's basically, it's a good reproduction, a very, very high quality one. That's, I believe, a Volkstrom belt buckle. Or it possibly might be another Nazi power military organization one. I believe it is a Volkstrom one though. That's a Luftwaffe belt buckle repro. Lift rough about buckle original and then a repro very much here about buckle on the back there. I got my British Army jackknives, I've got my trench dagger there on top, kind of resting on top of some of my match boxes. I got my silver match um, Vesta thing there, another silver Vesta thing there. I've got my Lee Enfield. Spare magazine there and a spare spring for it underneath. A follower for it underneath as well. My cricket there. I believe an original Waffen SS. Um, moth eaten piece of insignia. There. And I've got my Luftwaffe cap insignia. For like a visor cap or a crusher cap there. I've got trench art knife there, my repro supposedly Nazi knife there, original British general service timepiece there, a watch circa turn of the 19th 20th century, a reproduction watch there, I've got my little button compass there, original, all of the coins there, cat badge. I can't remember what regiment it's from. There's a another Vesta, that's a kind of a Bright and May Vesta, so a more kind of common one. There's and it's also original. There's my fifth Gurkha regiment. Or maybe fifth Gurkha Cavalry Regiment um cat badge there. Two of my whistles, my third one is with my gas mask at the moment. My once and lighter. Heard more stuff there, shaving stick, um, my German wash roll there, my grandfather's RAF veterans badge that he gave me before he died, 
and then there's some other things there and the SDG44 inner ammo this is another new thing I got this is a 1970s pewter hip flask almost the same as a Victorian one so who cares my mini Cospo there my original home guard armbands shoe kit there some more old coins and post-war clip there here I have my Enfield 1861 pattern bayonet there my Chespo Repro bayonet there whole load of ones from when I was when I, well I still am interested in Harry Potter um, down there I have my Denix replica of my flintlock pistol I've got in this bag I got all my German insignia just a little Lego under that and here I have some of my my reproductions of the Soldat Nieder Buch parts one two three all three parts I've reproduced from originals that I found online new things that I got so here I have my Wolfer PPK holster and I also have a camera here I'll start off with the Wolfer PPK holster just move that over somewhere else which has got better light so here's the name Baumbach was the original name it's been crossed over and on top of that there's another name which I believe is acrylic rather which is wrote the Russian kind of script that's a, an, a wartime mag that I put in from another pistol no marks on the back however it has had the back part the bit where it attaches to the to the belt replaced and had these two bits attached here very kind of what these Soviets used to have because they'd have that one attached to your cross strap and then you'd have I believe lanyard attached to that so that's that that was 10 quid which I think was quite good possibly original no other marks apart from see there's like a number six or something with a line under it I don't know That, that's the only marks so there's that one there and you just got to get the thing that goes inside it and the other thing I got from the same guy was this which is a 1937 camera I'm going to have to set the camera down to show you this so it's a US camera and it was manufactured in 1937 by get it out for you Bowen Howell Model 134G which means it was the model was made in 1937 and it's got quite an ingenious case because it pulls out like that and you look down through this little hole at the back here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all. Ah, oh, you can. I just poke this out the window. You should be able to see. Silly camera won't focus though. <coughs> Focuses on the glass, dirt on the glass rather than anything else. But anyway, it's a film camera. So it can take film like this and you'll film by pressing this down. We could take single shots by doing this. And then you could do this to kind of, I believe, increase the zoom, stuff like that, or help you focus. Anyway, it's got this little door string down here. Yep. It also has the ability to, it's taken out of the holder have a tripod fixed and irony is it is it that it actually takes my tripod 
from my camera that I'm using now, which is very awesome. And the side opens like this. So yeah, what you do is press that down and you kind of get your fingernails underneath the rim and open it up. And that's the only real flaw in the design, I think. So this little thing spins around, which should have your... Please, this would originally have your film on. And then it would go onto another spool here and it goes past through here and when you're taking your film that happens or when you're taking photos etc so that's basically that I bought that for 10 quid I'm pretty chuffed it came with a case and then the guy gave me a deal for both these because this was originally going to be 15 so that and there's 10 quid I was pretty chuffed I went for it and I went to another shop as well so yeah I went to another shop as well where I was given the works regiment cap badge on this cap here for free which is really good and also I got this I'm trying to torch on so you can see it better but yeah Africa Core M40 tunic, just an Africa Core tunic. This one was 20 quid. I think it's quite good. There's a the price. Didn't take it off so I could show you at the moment. Some utter buffoon didn't know how to sew, so they've just used iron on stuff to kind of get the insignia to semi be attached. So I'm going to sew that on properly. It's got the ability to have belt hooks attached around the side there around the other side and on the back as well and yeah lovely don't have to do anything the insignia would have cost 20 quid anyway so but why the hell not so I got it that's kind of almost my Africa core uniform entirely sorted out I just need to get an M43 star cap and that's kind of really all I need to do which is just not anyway so and just have my helmet. That is that. And I also got something else from them. Which was this. This is a Luftwaffe reproduction blanket. Got Luftwaffe Eagle there, LBA 41, factory code, date 1941. And Anyway, I also got these, which are a whole load of cigarette boxes. I got this from another antique shop, along with one of these, a Magic magic Pocket Savings Bank. What you do is you pop a little coin in there, then it will be kind of filled up inside there. And then you'll be able to spend it, put it in the bank, whatever. So that's that one. Got some quite interesting ones there, and they were eight, that was eight pounds for both of them. The rest of those, like the weights, caravan a the tenor, golden flake ones, um, are the kind of the interesting ones. This one here, the kind of the glue had all gone on the side. So what I'm going to do with it is make a just scan this in and then scan that part part in and then I'll have a repro ready to go because I wouldn't need to bother about using proper colour card because it was white card if that just all comes down top anyway so the, the, that's those things that I also got I think I did pretty well here I have my dummy there might use them in some films got my cadets uniform on well, not my personal cadets uniform but it's like a cadets dress uniform jacket thing got my Ryan possibly kettle helm style thing back there put some pickup feathers in it got my my safari camp bed one of them folded up back there that one's I'm gonna use some other time in some other things interesting things here I have my 
Nougat. Denix replica. So, yeah. So that's those. Moving on to these. On the walls, I have my first set of Panther XM webbing. Panther XM battle dress for the fourth wilts. And my pattern 40 trousers, the non economy ones. Belgium trousers there. DJs, some flags. I think it's an Arezzo flag back there from Italy. And there's a Welsh flag there. Original boxing gloves. Kind of step grandfather sort of thing. Um, that he gave me. Some binoculars there. Semi wartime. Specs of two inch mortar. A uh, thing from magazines. Raffinesses posters. British Free Corps poster here. Pictures of Technics. Some pictures of Raffinus S troops surrendering in 45 there and there. Some pictures of Vlasov's Russian Liberation Army. Um, interestingly, they look like they're wearing the Labour Monster, which is very interesting. And they notice how well they're armed. All, look at all them Panzerfaust. Anyway, I got my another officers Russian SS officers um, recruiting poster another Russian SS poster there here I have uniform that I'm going to badge up as a lieutenant in the for the Wehrmacht and that's going to be for 352nd infantry division or 716 infantry division both the ones that saw the Majority of the fighting it just after D-Day, 352nd Omaha, and a bit of Utah, and 716 was mainly British speeches, so round sword gold, do you know that sort of area? Do you know was actually Canadian? So what? Still comes from the Commonwealth. Got some posters on the walls there. I've got my. Lancaster bomber there. Um, Airfix one just being attacked by my German Spitfire. Before we say it, that's sacrilege. Why have you got a Spitfire painted up in German colours? Well, that is what they actually looked like when they were in German service because Germans did capture quite a few. And the ones that were shot down over German territories as well. And they, they painted them up. This is what I found of one of the Spitfires. That the Germans captured, I repainted it from original colour photos because. Very luckily, they someone actually took colour photos of one of them. So, yeah, attacking this Lancaster. You can see it's engine, that engine's taken out, so it's that one there. Just left with kind of those two on still going. Also, was hit by flak at the front. That kind of be it's a G, the G for George one from the uh, raid on the dams. Anyway, oh, and the two gunners at the back have also been taken out. The But the cotton wool that was on those has fallen out somewhere. So that's that. I got my plastic helmet that I had painted up for Raffin SS, which is I left outside when it rained and the decal melted off. So that's basically all of those uniforms. Onto these uniforms here. I have my British stuff back there. And then I have kind of my medieval stuff here. And I have my post-war Soviet artillery one uniform there. British uniforms, Home Guard for Constable Home Guard in Devon. I'm going to re replace that with the Devon Orgs units. Here I have my original 43 dated, I believe 42 dated, Royal Army Service Corps, Colonel Sergeant's um, Wade Beltless. A broken cutting on by the way. In front of that I've got my Gurkha um, impression for the 
jungle rather. Got my desert impression in front of that. Got my little headscarf thing attached to that as well. Because um, I've seen quite a few pictures of British actually did issue their own version of these. I can't remember what the name of it is. One of my friends who come, who came, who I've met, who um, lives in the Middle East, he said that um, they call them gutras, but some people call them other names. Anyway, oh, and by the way, that that um, black means that it comes from Palestine. Anyway, in front of that, I got my British um, captain's SD uniform. In front of there, possibly Victorian. Oh, that's by the way, Second World War. Front of that possibly Victorian um, officers' impression for kind of the marine wall artillery. Front of that IF dress uniform for officers. I'm gonna get need to get the torch again. Yeah, oh, IF dress officers' uniform, IF uni officers' uniform, IF shirts, collars, shirts there, Confederate first. Uniform that I got, which is there, all kind of in bits. It's kind of made out of felt, so it's dyed slightly farby Confederate kepi. In front of that, I have my German, no, not German, Swedish tunic here, um, unissued with trousers. Back there, I've got my British post war greatcoat, same as all time one though. And that for the army, best job for corporal or bombardier because in the, for the regiment that it is. By that, I got my IF uh, great coat. By that, I got my Belgian Paris mark. Behind that, I got my kind of uh, posh shirt. I've got uh, tail coats there, some suits, white shirts, just another. Um, like a type 2 dress uniform all my modern crap there really not that interesting um, yeah, oh and I've also got my confederate or civil war cavalry hat there my original RAF cap there I believe the camera's going to run out of memory so I'm just going to pause it there